What's up family, I'm Rob Chapman. Let's work out whether you are a beginner, an intermediate, or an advanced guitar player. It's kind of important, I'm gonna explain why I think it's important. I think I'm gonna get a bit of flack, a bit of heat for this video, but I'm kind of here for it. So let's, <laughs> let's get into it. By the way, I'm plugged into a new X Trident, four cable method into uh, you know really expensive uh, Italian Paoletti handmade guitar made from uh, barrels of wine uh, into a beautiful British valve amp uh, and none of that makes a single bit of difference as to whether I am a beginner an intermediate or an advanced guitar player I just want to get that out of the way because what I have noticed more and more on the internet is a culture where we're seeing um, acquisition of gear and even how good somebody knows the gear as being mistaken for whether you are a beginner, intermediate or an advanced player. And it's important because where you classify yourself will have a large bearing on your learning journey. So, for example, if you, in your mind and your heart, feel that you are an advanced player, you may skip over and omit some of the really important building blocks uh, at the beginning of your journey, and then never learn them, um, and then never look back, and then miss out on some of the most amazing potential that you had. So it's important to know where you are. And of course, it's a sliding scale that's continually moving and it's non-binary because it isn't a hard beginner and a hard intermediate, etc. It's a it's a sliding scale. You could be a beginner intermediate. Where do you think you sit in the pantheon of beginner intermediate advanced? Do you think you are a beginner? Do you think you are an advanced guitar player? I recently ran a poll on the internet and 85% of people thought they were an advanced slash professional guitar player. It really surprised me. That may just have been that I was incredibly lucky that day, and when I fished with my big net, I managed to catch lots of incredible guitar players. Or it may be that some people misjudge their ability. Most important thing to say here is, being a beginner is amazing. I loved being a beginner, learning something new every day, all the riffs, all the licks, learning stuff by ear, working things out, getting a new chord, getting a taxi across town to find a guy that understood what G Phrygian was. You know, those are the days that, I mean, I still learn now, but I miss not knowing loads of stuff. It was really exciting. Anyway, let's classify beginner, intermediate, advanced uh, in an effort to help people understand maybe where they sit and then make better judgments and better choices in their learning journey, okay? So, beginners are putting together the building blocks. With a Lego analogy, imagine you just bought a bunch of beginner kits and you're getting them on the table in different bowls, maybe, if you're my kids. You got the manual, you put it there, you don't want everyone to look at it, and you're sort of sorting them out and thinking, okay, here are the grey pieces, here are the yellow pieces, they fit like this, that's a beginner. You're assembling the knowledge. You're understanding maybe that there's something called a G chord. You're understanding maybe that this is an E major, but if I remove this finger, it becomes an E minor, and maybe you don't quite understand it yet, but you know that you need to know that. Maybe you know that this is a C note. Maybe you know that this is a B note, but you don't know the rest, but you know that you need to know them. This is a beginner, assembling the parts, understanding the knowledge that there is to acquire, learning how to do it. The difference between a beginner and an intermediate is an intermediate has got these parts and is able now to fluidly use them and can just play the guitar. So for example, rather than needing to recall how to play a G, maybe not even, you know, maybe a, a bar chord, maybe they can play some chords. But maybe they know how they fit together in the standard Western 
concept of scale and key. So maybe they wouldn't be surprised to go from, you know, an A major chord, upper tone to a minor chord, and then down to play an E7. It wouldn't be surprising to them because they understand the relationships between those chords. When you can assemble it all and you can just play, you are an intermediate. When you understand what things are called and why they are called things, you are an intermediate. If you can stand in a room with a bassist and a drummer and just play, I don't know, and they say, let's play a blues in, in A. If you can just play it, you're an intermediate player. Someone who's assembled the tools the building blocks, got the knowledge, unplugged the matrix, I can play guitar. You're an intermediate. It's nothing to do with how much gear you have or even how well you know the gear. You could have one guitar, one amp, it could be a really cheap amp, it could be a really affordable guitar, and you could be an advanced professional guitarist. Or you could know absolutely everything about the guitar, where it was made, the kind of wood, the emotions of the builder at the time, the kind of valves, whether it's fet or... and be a beginner. There's no correlation between knowing about the gear and your level of ability at playing the guitar. Some people get that confused. An advanced player is someone that's taken the building blocks, been able to use them and has crafted something of their own. Using the Lego analogy, they got the blocks out, they worked out how they fit together, they made the stuff that came in the manual, and then they pulled it all apart, and they went, well, I'm gonna make my own thing, and I'm gonna make something that feels like it comes from me. So an advanced player, when you hear them playing, they have their own sound, and that sound is a mixture of, not, not mainly tone, but it's mainly the way they approach things, their feel. They have a themness about their playing. And you'll recognize that in loads of players that you love. You'll hear them playing a few notes and you go, oh, that's John, or well, that's Phil. That's the first thing about an advanced player. The next thing is they're probably contributing music. They're probably just writing stuff. It kind of comes out of them because they're now flowing. They're in a free state of just flowing and playing with it, whether it be on their own, just improvising sat at home. Or maybe with a band, maybe they're playing with other people. Of course, you can play with other people as a beginner, but if you're freely playing and able to create, you are an advanced player. I hope this is useful for you, and I hope it causes interesting debate and conversation in the comment section below. Where do you think you sit in the pantheon of beginner, intermediate, and advanced? And also, please realize it doesn't make any difference. It's just important to know what you should be focusing your time on. Maybe it's more you know, note recognition, intervallics, uh, chord scales, and less sweeping. Or, may <laughs> or maybe it's more how can I write my own lick to go from a four to a five and less power chords? You know, these things are important. Have a great day. Take it easy. Chappers out.